so here we are in the shed we're back at it we got uh, we still got these connectors we got a clump of red wire and then we got the coils so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna get the uh, all the power wires ran and we'll be good to go um, so yeah let's do that let's get it all uh, get it all wired up huh. Huh. all right that was noxious but uh, yeah we're gonna get these wired up and I'll probably go in a little bit more depth than I did in the last time so let's do this all right so we take a fresh cut Like a millimeter off. Twist this up. Grab ourselves a, a pin here. Then, so you got this big spot right here that goes over the wiring, and then this, these three little guys that goes was what you're crimping over the wires. Give it a little yank, make sure it's on there. And uh, there we go. Got a nicely done one. And then all we got to do is just hold the like little rubber plug in the back here. Give it a pull down. Um, and then just give it a spin. Cause you need to make sure this guy lines up right there. Just like that, clicks in. It's in there. And done. And you plug it in. Voila. And then we'll uh, what we'll do is we'll uh, run it along and then we'll cut them just like uh, how we have it all routed. And we'll probably run them to like right about here or actually maybe a little bit further so we're not meeting up with the grounds um, even though so one ground has to go to the block and then the other ground goes to the micro squirt and uh, I was talking to a buddy and he says that is very crucial otherwise you get like uh, like back feed of like noise or something like that so very important so uh, yeah we'll uh, cut this and then do the rest here and then we'll be back all right so Got them all on there, boom, 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 boom. Um, now we just got, and they're all kind of cut to the same area. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go through, cut out all these zip ties that don't need, and then I will reroute them, and get it all, you know, so it's got as little zip ties as possible, so that way when I get some more, uh, um, 
whenever I have, whenever the hell I have more money to buy some Tessa tape, I can come through and Tessa tape it all and get it all looking good. Um, but uh, yeah, and then after that, I'm gonna probably drill some holes so that way we can mount it up under here. But I'll explain that once I get these all routed. So let me get those routed. All right, so I've already done. I've gotten five of them. So for like the last one here, because I'm trying to figure out, you know, which ones are which for like the black ones, because they're all the same fucking color, but they're grounds, so that's why I did that. Maybe I could have changed color. Probably would have made this easier. So what I'm doing is, so basically when these touch, they beep. So I've got it on the pin three here, and I just kind of go through and touch until... So this one's this wire is beeping, so that means that's the wire I need for this pin three. So alright. Put a zip tie on this bunch here. That is for all the pin threes. Now what I'll do is I'll go through, double check, because I don't want to fuck any of these up. set so now all we got to do is uh i'll probably actually snip off this last get or this last zip tie here try and get these uh separated a little bit cleaner um so that way it doesn't like look like a knot um and then i uh put buck connectors on the two that'll be firing together um and uh yeah um, i'm gonna see if i can get these buck connected um, I have these rather large ones. Can't remember what size they went to. But we'll try and see if I can get those to fit. Worst case scenario, I could do three groups of three. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what it'll allow me to do. So, but uh, yeah, get these spread it or get this off. Um, I'll probably plug it all back into the um, the whole shebang and. Uh, so that way we keep all our spacing and everything. But uh, yeah, let's do that. All right, so I uh, had to break it into uh, twos because um, you can only do about three wires in those ones. I think they're like 16, 14 to 16 gauge. So I can only get three bundled in. So that's no big deal. Um, so then like, uh, I think these are for the four? Yeah, these are these are for the fourth one, this guy. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's um, A. So yeah, these are for pin A, pin B, and then all of these are your pin C's, and then this is uh, pin D. So, so power for D, and then these are the signals we'll say. So these are what trigger, the triggers, for pin C, and then B and A are both grounds. Um, one's grounded to the block, one's grounded to the micro squirt. Um, so now what we're gonna do is I have uh, these guys, and they go on here, like you just kinda, you, I mean you'll electrical tape them, but for sake of what it will look like, we're going to just zip tie it on, and then I'll drill some holes and then we'll see what it looks like. So let's get that done. All right, so here we go. That's what we got. Looks pretty good. So this is like what you're gonna see. And then, so like, that's all they are. Just drilled some holes and they got those little plastic clips on there. 
should be sweet. Um, I'm thinking I might. So I have two options here. I could either just like notch this out and then have this go underneath or I could notch that and have it go around. I'll probably do here and then bend it down because I think that'll look best. Um, so we'll just have to notch that out at some point. But that's going to be it for this one, guys. So uh, you know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe. You know, we might even throw in there and share the video, you know, if it's something that you liked. Um, but uh, yeah. Looks sweet. That's it.